So today we're at the church and we are redoing our stage walls today uh, with Easter in mind, but really could be any time of the year. So we're definitely going to go beyond Easter. Uh, right now we have windows on the wall um, and we've got a little bit of a mess up there, as you can see, but I'm pretty excited about this one. So let's get started. All right, so we've got our one by two strips put up and those are kind of like serving as our studs. So our idea is we're gonna put a wall up through here and here, about three foot wide each. And then we're gonna put a big one back here in this space. And we're gonna do something special in that and that's what I'm really excited about. And obviously we're gonna do the same thing over here and you can see the height difference. So it's gonna be up high, a little lower, a little lower. We've got our boards cut. Um, so there's our stack for that one, and that one, that one, and that one. And then of course, here's our long ones that are gonna go back here with their special surprise in the middle that I'm really excited about. So let's get to putting those up. Hey, let me show you what we're doing with this to keep them spaced out and to keep it lined up. This is what we think is easiest. We've cut all of our boards at 36 inches. Now you might wanna go longer or shorter, whatever your stage, our stage is not real big. So, and we're taking one of the boards and laying them like that. So we've got a three quarter inch thick board and then we're laying one across the top. And then we were coming over here and lining it up. And then we're taking a brad nailer and nailing them in. And we'll do that all the way up through there. So we have a good three quarter inch space all the way through. And we'll do that to the way, all the way to the top. Looks like a long ways. All right, so we've got those up there, but we, we're still working on this uh, wall. And actually right here is the wall. It's uh, about nine, nine feet across. Um, and let me just show you kind of what we're doing. We're actually, putting a cross in the center. We're cutting these boards to where it'll look, you know, just like a cross right in the center of it. And then we've got plans for it once we get it up there to do something to really bring it to life. And so what we have done is found the center of the board, you know, all the way up. And then we've marked off our spots to where we want to cut our boards so that we can make our cross. And, you know, and of course we're going to go out wider there and then come back and go up. So find the center and then, you know, go from there and uh, how big you wanna make your cross. We're going with seven inches up through here and then we are going seven inches uh, on the crossbar and then we are going seven inches on up. And we're only choosing to do four of the boards that way, two of them wide that way, and then uh, seven wide this way with two full lengths up top and two full lengths down bottom. Uh, so, we'll see how it works. We've built a frame, studded up on, on both sides, and then we've put these one by two strips in there, uh, just so that, so they're not so so it's not so gawky. I mean, we could have done a two before, but this will more than support this because this isn't moving, and. We are making it in such a way that when we're done with it, because we'll probably leave it up a few months and then take it down, uh, we'll be able to just pop a few screws out of the studs and pull it straight out of the wall and then just store it the way it is. But we're making a cross right here and then we're gonna do something special to that cross. And so um, this kind of gives you an idea. Obviously your space is gonna be different than ours. I'm, I'm, I'm most positive of that. But you know, you can make one like this freestanding or you know, whatever you want to do. So, uh, but this is what we're choosing to do. So let's get finished with this cross. And we are done. And there is our cross. And so you can see where we went with that, framing it up. And we ran those one by two strips up the, you know, far enough to where the cross would, it wouldn't, you know, run across the back of the cross. So 
just straight cuts. And then of course at the top they're straight. So, you know, got a cute little design in there. And then of course the those as well. So, but the coolest part, let me show you. This is my favorite part. Just in time for Easter too. So this was a fun project. It was a pretty inexpensive way to kind of spruce up our stage and make it look different. And uh, it's we're just a couple of weeks away from Easter, so it really fits in well with Easter. But really, this could go any time of the year. Uh, but uh, pretty happy with the way this turned out. And we kind of made this little fake wall back here because we have a lot of cords on the stage and... I mean, we would love to have them come up from under the stage, but for now, this is what we have. And at some point, when we decide to take this down, I think we're gonna keep this, paint it the same color as the stage so that it just kind of blends in. And so it just kind of looks fake wall to kind of hide all that stuff back there. So, and not be in the way. So check it out, I like it. So thanks for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you soon.